Iron Maiden. Dude, what the fuck? How can they not even be in yet? I think Iron Maiden. I want to see Iron Maiden get in just because I want to hear Bruce Dickinson's acceptance speech. Oh, God. He's one of the greatest fucking speakers. To, right. Oh, Interesting, he, dude. Such a great, amazing yeah. character. They've been nominated for a couple of years. I wonder if Dave Grohl's behind that. If he's on the nominating committee, I mean, he had to have been the one that was pushing for Motorhead those couple of years. But I, you know, I don't know, man. If Judas Priest is in, I think Iron Maiden should be in. I. Oh, I agree. It's I, a re- it's it's a sin that Iron Maiden's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for what they fucking represent is totally ignored by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I mean, heavy metal. You know, heavy metal is totally ignored by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's very underserved. And it's well, so heavy metal also has a pretty narrow audience, you know, like that kind of shit. And it was also really big in the UK. It was much bigger in the UK than it was in the United States. I mean, we talked about it. We talked about it on our metal episode about how metal in England is different metal in America. Two different kind of thing. Two different sounds. Which plays fucking wasted years, man. What a great song that is, man. That's not heavy at all by by new standards. It's just no, crazy. by new standards at all. It's a rock. It's rock and roll. I mean, it has the British metal sound. I sure. think they are, you know, um, dude, they play countries, not like a, a stadium in a country. Countries come out and see them play, dude. Like it is ridiculous that they're not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It, it makes me sick. And I'm not even the biggest Iron Maiden fan there is. I don't think they're getting in this year either. I just I think there's too many other artists that are going to get the attention. And I think some people are going to be like, well, they put Judas Priest in last year. So by some don't time, you think, though, don't you think, though, they're going to be like, oh, my God, let's just put them in and have it done already. There's a limit on how many people they take. I mean, they're not going to nominate everybody. So I, I don't think they're going to get in. I think it's going to be this is like the umpteenth year of them being nominated. You know, hey, you don't have to sell me on whether they need to. They should be in the Rock and Roll of Fame. I just think when it comes down to you want the first hip hop female hip hop artist or do you want Iron Maiden? They're going to be like, well, we put Priest in last year. Hip hop. That makes more sense. I think that's just I think that's how shit's going to go. Not for nothing. I mean, Bruce Dickinson's been very vocal about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He probably burned some bridges. Right. If somebody's going to trash the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or not go. Or anything else. Maybe they don't want that publicity. I don't know. Because I mean, Do- Dolly Parton said, I don't want it. And then that created so much. They publicity. still made her. And then she had to accept it. Right. Now she's making a rock and roll album with uh, all she's kinds cool. of other artists. Yeah, sure. People are probably lining up. Guys are lining up to fucking play with her on the be on her album. Yeah, I saw a picture in the studio. She was in the studio with Debbie Harry cutting a track or something like that. And Oh, cool. Yeah, right on. So do you think they get in this year? Yes. Okay. I'm being positive. I'm positive about it. You're four for four so far. You got them all. It's hard this year, bro. I know. It's really hard. This is a good year for a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Last couple of years really suck. I totally agree. 